So notice what happens, Zendler opens a number of new tabs in your browser. This particular download document was opened in a new tab. Um, I'm happy to save that to my desktop if I want to. I won't do that right now because I already have that particular cheat sheet. So I'm going to close this tab. This is going to take me back to the thank you page. And I want to go right back to the beginning in Zendler back here. So let me close this page. And here we are in the funnel. Now, something else that you want to discover here is if we go right to the very top of the page, you'll see there are some other steps in here. And remember, we added a lead called test at test at test.com. So let's go to leads to see if that has in fact been captured. <clears throat> and we do in fact see that the name of the person test and their email is here <clears throat> and the enrollment date of when they signed in. And then we can go to automation and we see that Zendler creates for us automatically a set of rules that create a drip sequence. So if we want to see those rules, we can click the download button there. Um, it's the drop down menu that shows us um, different types of steps in the automation sequence. Let's actually look at the contents of each of these steps. And we can do that by clicking here, or we can go up here with the blue button. Let's go there first. And you see here the sequence uh, of the email drip is shown to us. And at the moment, everything is paused and nothing will go live until you click the button here to show you what will go out in that particular email sequence. And then when you want to make it live, you'll click the button up here. As soon as you make it live, this button turns green to show you it's active and in force. So let's just turn this off at the moment so that we can go back to the uh, original state.